All right, we got a little bit more light now. I can do a real intro. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Flatty Daddies. I'm down here on the beautiful Potomac River on a beautiful morning, uh, and I think I'm going to get into some fish today. The water conditions are completely different than last time I was down here, mainly the temperature. Uh, it was like 33, 34 last time I fished this. It came up to... 42.4 degrees according to my fish finder i think that's really going to change things the way uh the way they're going to be biting we had a really warm week down here and a really warm week um up river of this so the water coming down is going to be warm too and i really think that is going to trigger these fish to bite uh, i've got my gill nets out right now and i think i've got a pile of them in there so let's get this episode started thanks for watching Oh my god, I thought I had a big catfish in there, but it's just so many shad. Well, I think I'll be able to help the people out that wanted some shad. Oh my god. That's like the very last foot of it. I got three fish just in that. This is going to be insane. It was bobbing as I was putting it out. I figured it was going to be something like this, but this is crazy. It's going to be a rip and tear kind of morning. But I had a bunch of people asking for it, and I'm happy to give it to them if I can. Look who it is! <laughs> hey, you want some shad? I just got so many shad, like I don't know what to do with them all. Uh, yeah, uh, I was just, I was gonna pick your brain. I, I don't know where to start with them. Yeah, man, I don't know. They're so thick in here right now. I put two nets out for eight minutes and I caught, right? I caught 110 shad. All right, so. I'm just now fishing. I caught my first fish, but I had some serious GoPro issues. I, I don't know, they kept on uh, just not recording and stuff. So I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, it was just a little dinker. Uh, hopefully I get this figured out. But uh, I set up in a kind of a normal spot for me. I didn't mark many fish. I don't think I'm gonna stay here, but I'm in about 38 feet of water. Uh, I'm probably gonna just keep working my way up the river and uh, see what I can get into. But uh, somebody I know, Tommy, yep north he's he's slamming them so i don't want to go exactly where he's fishing but i'm gonna try to fish some similar structure and stuff so see what happens which one's gonna go all right this one stuck himself <laughs> that was weird went from like nothing to a whole bunch cool they're actually both recording he hit hard. I don't think he's gonna turn out to be much, but he, he looked a lot better than, the, than uh, the showing he's putting on now. But he's still, he's not a bad fish. Yeah, he's not a bad fish, I'll take it. They're still bobbing a little bit. Maybe we'll get a second out of this. <laughs> Slow start today. With not being able to get my rods in the water till after nine, but that's all right. I, I'm gonna fish pretty late today, I think. And I think I'm gonna get into some fish. I'm gonna find them one way or another. This one ain't gonna be bad. It's gonna be really warm today. I'm taking my time too because I'm in about 40 foot of water. He was actually probably out in like the 42 to 45 foot of water. And uh, just want to try to let him decompress a little bit. He's feeling okay. I mean, he's, he's not coming up to the surface and rolling in the current. So that's usually a good sign. Let's see. Bigger than the first one that you guys didn't get to see. Just a hair bigger though. Oh yeah, he's got a, some chunk to him. Net shad today, finally. All right, probably about six pounds. He's got some belly to him. Not super long, just a, just a fat guy. He's feeding, that's good. So, it's good enough to say for this fish, nothing too crazy. Hey, you on? Feels like it. That's a fish though, that's weird. 
Maybe I got some trash on here. All right, <laughs> got a little bonus fish there while I was packing up to move up river. My wife called halfway through, so I guess I can credit her for this fish. I don't know if he's hooked weird, like lassoed or what, but it feels really strange down there. He felt small and then all of a sudden he started feeling heavier. So I don't know, I think he just probably rolled and got tangled up or something. There's some head movement. Yeah. I think his mouth is just stuck open. Maybe that's what it was because the bait he can't close his mouth. Not quite a netter. He might be heavier than that last one though. He's approaching like seven pounds maybe. I don't know. Not gonna weigh these little guys. But yeah, I was packing up the, just change all oh, he got the bait for free. It's all right, I was changing them out anyway. <laughs> I'll take this, last time I was down here, I didn't even catch three fish, so. I'm pretty excited. I already caught more than that in just the first hour of fishing. So, whoo, he's cold. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to keep uh, packing up and I'm going to move up river a little bit. Shit. What? Oh, shit. His daughter stuff. You got something on the line over there. Oh, no. Oh, right, yeah. right to this line. Yep. Damn it, damn it. <laughs> Just got a new starter on it in July. Really? Here, you want, you want me to reel it in or something? Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can. All right. Let me lay my shit. That's boats, man. You never know what they're going to do to you. Ah, uh, okay, you're just gonna go around. Should be good on the other ones. I'll, I'll give you some line here. Oh, there's one. Hey, you guys are bringing the fish in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think he's on. Oh. All right, cool. Oh, that one's off now, huh? <laughs> I think there's one still over top. Yeah, his boat stalled out. He was coming to pick up some bait and his boat stalled out.
little guys, but it's a double. I'll take it. Okay. All right. You still on there? There we go. He took it down with some mean meanness there. Yeah. All right, guys, got that takedown too. He was kind of just playing with it and all of a sudden got mad at the bait. I might go live here. It's enough action to keep it going. I'll do it for maybe an hour or something. It's not really my thing, but the fish are letting it happen. I'll do it. Ooh, what happened to my weight, my float there? It's not gonna. I, they're slowly getting bigger. Oh, through the eyeball, right through the bottom of his eyeball. You know what, buddy? I'll give you the bait for that. How about that? Okay, it's the right direction. Just needs to get a lot bigger than this. So let's go. Let's get this guy back in the water here. It's two fish that got to keep the bait. You guys caught it. I'm messing here trying to go live. Hey, we got some fish on. That might be a decent one. We've got some serious action here going, guys. I can't even talk. I mean, that wasn't even hardly a sentence. Let's crank down on these here. There's one. There's one. This one looks halfway decent. All right. Stays turning around, guys. This one looks pretty decent here. Is that another one? Oh my God. Okay. All right. This is looking pretty good. This one's solid though. This is a pretty solid fish. I haven't felt this heavy of a weight yet this year. Ah, that's why my wife's calling. Every time, guys. So we got three or four fish on right now. It's pretty crazy. Oh, that's my buddy. Oh, crap. Hey, man. What's that? I can't, I can't hear you, what'd you say? Okay, I got four fish on right now. Okay, you're all right though, like for now? <laughs> My buddy's having some motor problems. I'm gonna have to probably tell him in. I just gotta get these fish landed here. This is crazy. All right, that's definitely four fish. This is all well, the biggest of the day, but I thought he was gonna be bigger than this. Good, that's still recording. A quad. Well, quad bite. I can't count them all yet, but it's pretty wild. All right, he's hooked good. Get in there. This is a good thing I didn't go live because I, I would have had to cancel it right away. Might have a fifth on here. Yep. Jeez. Well, six rod, uh, I don't know what your problem is, but you should uh, probably start doing something. That one doesn't look bad. I think that's the one I started off with. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with this one. He's he's heavier than those others. I don't, I don't even know if there's one on that anymore. So he's little. He might be just 
getting caught up with this line. All right, all right. Sweet. They're not monsters, but I'll take four fish, maybe five. Yeah. All right. They're in here thick today. Oh, he's not bad, I guess. Nothing to be ashamed of. See, that one's all the way up at the boat. I think there is something going on with that one, too. Yeah, I'm not going backwards. That line's just swimming up. Cool. Cool. All right. It's a pretty easy spot to remember where it's at, too, because uh, I got a buoy right behind me. I'm right on the channel edge. It's only about, it gets to 26, maybe 27 foot out in the channel here. It's not super deep. Uh, this is gonna be a mess. Let's see what's going on with this. Yeah, he, he swam up river. Okay. Did you come off? No, he's still on. Oh my God. How do you swim up river with that? You're not that big. They all stuck for once. Look at this mess. There's four fish. Let me see if this fifth one's still on here. I think he is. All right. What do you call that, a quintuplet? Is that what it is? Man, if they're all 40s, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. This is the smallest. Did it in the right order. He wasn't going anywhere either. One rod and a six left in the water. That's how it's done. Woo! That's how it's done. All right. You guys be good. I'm going to give my buddy a quick call. Okay, I'm going to get this mess cleaned up here, show off some of these fish, and uh, I got to go help my buddy, Tommy. He's uh, he got a, new, a newer motor on his boat, and it's, he's struggling with it. That was the plan today, though. I mean, one of the main reasons I, I came down here, he asked if I could help him if uh, he had some issues. and It was a good enough excuse to come down here and fish, and I'm glad I did because the action's hot and it's a good day on the water so we get this absolute disaster figured out here and i'll be be up there all right just for interest of time here i think this is the biggest one uh, i'm just gonna put get them all back you guys saw them laying the boat this, ah, yep he figured out how to bite so look at that i don't even have to hold them Woo! that's a good chopping force you got there ah, for such a little guy <laughs> Fun stuff, man. I can't make it up. Got him. All right. Well, it's about two, two and a half hours since I was fishing the last time. Towed my buddy back and his dad and now we got incoming tide against the wind. I'm set up in pretty much the exact same spot, just facing the other direction now. Uh, it's been pretty slow uh, since I set back up, but it's been, it's just a pain to set up in this. Uh, I, I gotta figure something else out. I'm, I'm out in the middle of the river. This wind is kind of a pain, it's being a jerk. So, figure something out. little dude oh yeah I'm fishing about 27 feet of water here the edge of the channel kind of my deal and he gets bait free bait 
There he is, guys. Need something big. Something real big. There it is. There's a fish. Yeah! Yeah, boys! That's a fish. Woo! That's a good fish. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, he's doing a lot of head shakes though. He feels heavy. They usually don't have that fast head shakes when they're when they're heavy, but or, I don't know, it's weird. There he goes. Might be my best of the day, which isn't saying much, but the old flats are producing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's not bad. He's not bad, I'll take that. I hope he stays buckled. Get my net. I actually need to use it for the first time this year. Oh, he swam up towards the boat. Whew, I'm glad I didn't have the back anchor out. Yeah, there's a fight. Yeah, he's a chunkster. Oh, that's a good one. I had a good feel and I got the net ready. He's somewhat buckled. Oh, no. There we go. I got him. Woo. That's the biggest I've had in a while. He's not a... A giant, but he's a good fish. <laughs> hey, he's so fat. I was in about 24 feet of water. Woo! Needed that, guys. Oh. All right, guys. Ah, this is the last ditch effort here, and it paid off. Uh, I was hoping he'd hit 30, but he's 29 just a solid fat fish and he fought good hit good i mean this is what i wanted this is why you come down here <laughs> obviously they get a lot bigger but this is a day maker and it made my day that's for sure i can't stop looking at my rods even though i'm talking to the camera and i'm holding a big fish but yeah <laughs> all right thank you fish thank you <sighs> conditions just seemed right for this spot it's, for some reason at the end of the day after the water warms up a little bit they seem to come up in these flats and i'm not I'm not sure what brings them up here other than the bait i marked a couple fish one or two of them look decent uh it's been a while since i've marked any catfish looking things in this area so i figured to give it a shot the wind's still being a pain in the butt but at least i'm able to get some fish in the boat There's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. Yeah, he's on. All right, getting some action at the end of the day here. Swimming up towards the boat. All right, come on, buddy. I don't care that you're not that big, you're making me happy. I needed these fish. Oh, muddy fish. Ah, no, it's just muddy water. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, he's probably gonna, he's just skin hooked. Let's see if I can thumb him here. It's probably a terrible idea. He won't open up. Come on. Closed his mouth when he saw the grippers, but he opened when he saw my thumb. Yeah, he does have some mud on him. I 
Oh, I don't know how much you guys saw all that. Hopefully, hopefully it caught it. But uh, might might be my last fish of the day, but I'm gonna stick it out for a little while. It's not a bad looking end cap. Step back here. Yeah. Happy, healthy little fishy and other things. Thank you. Cool. Let's keep this streak going here. 